Now it is time for us to test this out. So we want to make sure that we have our access point is connected to our controller, which we do see it's listed there. And the user account that we're going to use to log on through the Go network will be one of my accounts on the Active Directory server. So as that quick recap, let's go back to that server now and go back to our users and computers. So under that container, this is my account. So let's go ahead and double click there. And this will right here reflect my username of M Tamadi. And you will see that my account is a member of the staff group that we added as a condition for the Windows groups for e-authentication. So that's what we're gonna use for testing out this GOAD network. Okay, so with that discussed, we're gonna go ahead and change our screen and I'm going to connect with my mobile iPad device. Now we're connected to my device under the Wi-Fi settings it is turned off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And remember, we're not broadcasting that out. So we should not see that Go network. We only see the bronze and the silver. Therefore, we need to go ahead and go to other to specify what we wanna to connect to. So the name of that network again is RH underscore G. For the security, let's click there. We need to select WPA2 Enterprise. Now that's important because that can tell us what is the username and what is the password. So again, my username is this one that we saw and we'll type in the correct password. And once we're done with that, then we'll go ahead and say join and see what happens. And we are connected, but we get a security warning that the certificate, and if you see the name itself, is issued by our root certificate authority, our AD server, that it is not trusted. So let's go ahead and say that we do trust that certificate on our system. Once we are connected, let's go ahead and view the details of that to ensure that we are getting an IP from that 10.131 network, which we do see here. And that means that from our device, we should have full access to all of the different networks, which we can confirm by going back to our ping tool. And let's ping the IP for the bronze interface. Great, so that's pingable. We should have, we should be able to ping our servers. Let's pick one of them. And that's also pingable. And let's also confirm that we can reach out to the internet. So I will ping a IP as well and that is working. So our Go network is working. So now let's change our screen and see what information is presented on the wireless controller. Back in our controller, let's go to monitor and there we see one client connected to the Go network. Let's go to the clients list and that will show our iPad device. That's the IP that is assigned to it and that we're using my username of M Tamadi to authenticate. And of course, we can always view the details of that connection right here and looking at things such as the type of traffic coming in, such as the RSSI, even the signal to noise ratio. And that is how you can set up PEEP to be used with a wireless network.